This is the 20 inch wheel kit from e-bike kit designed specifically for trikes. And as you can see, it's built onto this nice trifecta folding three-wheeler here. It's actually very popular because you can save some space by folding the trike in half. Now I do want to focus a little bit on the kit here because you can add this to basically any 20-inch wheeled trike. And this is, this is a good one, but uh, it's neat that it's so versatile and frankly, pretty easy to install. You're gonna have to, you know, take off the traditional front wheel and then you know have some tools and wrenches to basically get the wheel on and mess around with you know wiring and stuff but with some zip ties and an afternoon you can get this thing set up and it's actually got a, a nice little bag here for the battery that that velcros down and holds on to the basket so it's not going to go anywhere it's a pretty neat little kit and and very affordable so this thing is a pretty practical option if you're someone considering a trike for mobility purposes and just the stability of this thing and and the torque is actually pretty good so that's one of the big benefits of the 20 inch wheel kit a smaller wheel gives you a mechanical advantage when you're riding because the motor you know you can imagine if the wheel was out here it has to push harder to get the wheel around now it is going to go a little bit slower so they have a 24 inch wheel kit and it goes about 15 miles per hour i'd say this one goes you know 11 or 12 miles per hour so you you lose a little bit of speed but you do get a little bit of extra torque which is kind of nice and you can see they actually include a torque arm so what this is is just it sort of creates some leverage here um, connecting the the push point on the on the motor where it's you know torquing forward and extending it up the uh, up up the the fork arm like that and so you you kind of install that yourself it's neat that they include that and uh, works pretty well this bike has just one brake and it's installed on the right, which is kind of neat, especially for reviews because I'm twisting and braking at the same time. But the really neat thing about how it's set up is that it's got forward and reverse. Now, a lot of bikes just have forward and traditional electric bikes, the legal limit in the United States is 20 miles per hour. So this is a little bit slower, but that's gonna kind of extend your range and it also reduces the chances that you're gonna you know, tip the bike, that kind of thing. And frankly, you know, it's still very satisfying. For a bike like this that only has one speed, uh, this, this adds a lot of functionality to the bike. It'd be hard to power this up, up a hill, just human power alone. I think you'd have to stand up to get it done. So before I skip away, this motor is 500 watt. It's direct drive, meaning it uses big magnets to, to create the force and there's a stator in there and, and the electromagnetic charge from the stator repels the magnets and that's what gets you going. There aren't any, you know, gears, that kind of thing. So it's gonna, it's gonna age well, you know, last a while. It may not have quite as much torque as a gear design, but 500 watts is, that's pretty, that's pretty good. And we talked about the wheel giving you some mechanical advantage. One of the disadvantages is that you might get some cogging, which is the stator repelling the, the magnets in there when you're, when you're not using the throttle. So if you ran out of batteries on, on this, on your way home, and you had a big bag of groceries, you know, that would, be, that would be a bummer because you've only got one gear and the motor's gonna be fighting with you a little bit. I'm gonna show you an example of that. I'm gonna turn the bike off and I'm gonna spin the wheel and you can see how, how it sort of slows a little bit quicker than a freewheel would. See that, how it stopped a little bit quicker? And here's a traditional freewheel. So you can see the, the magnets and the cogging, they, they play a little bit of a role, but not too bad. You know, they, they've, they've worked on these, they've kind of refined them so it's not fighting you too much. Uh, let's go here and, and kind of jump into the controller is mounted right here it's another thing that you just zip tie to the basket or wherever and then the battery in the battery bag so to turn this bike on you basically just flick that switch and that is powered by this 36 volt 9 amp hour sealed lead acid battery pack so this is heavier than say a lithium ion pack but it's much less expensive and uh, it also weighs more so this might be about 16 pounds 
the front wheel and the motor combined are about 12 pounds so you know it, it's a little bit heavier but a design like this where you've got the basket and you're not necessarily taking it off road and whipping it around it's an affordable way to get in the game uh, so that's you know gets the job done I'll just you know, zip this up a little bit here the the other thing is so you know if we go through these steps you get get to the bike make sure the battery's plugged in make sure it's been charged this is where you plug it into the wall turn the bike on and then this display panel lights up it's very simple it's not going to tell you how fast you're going how far you've gone it's basically just like a multimeter and it tells you it estimates the battery capacity by using a voltage signal from the battery so again it's very simple and you know there's there's no light or anything so really just kind of focusing on that top part to give you some idea of how how much juice the battery pack has left in it again you know this is it's very it's functional and you're you're not spending as much and with an application like this i think that's all right you know it's it's taking care of you so the pack is on we're all set to go if the bat if the button here is up that means we're in forward mode so as soon as i twist this whoa boy you could hear it spinning there we go Woo. A little bit of a hill here. Yeah, so actually, I think given given the smaller wheel diameter, I, I did notice it's spinning more. I am flooring it, and I, I weigh like 130 pounds, so, you know, that's that's a little bit different uh, than, than your application might be, uh, especially if you've got stuff in the back, but I guess it's just worth mentioning. Let's, you know, I'm going to start it a little slower this time and see how that works. Cool, cool. You know, not bad. I guess if I was climbing a big hill and it was sandy and stuff, you, you might encounter some more spinning. And I guess that could wear the tires a little bit, but um, I don't know. That The alternative would be a rear hub motor design. And since you have two wheels... Uh, that would be kind of tricky and, and then it would be spinning one harder than the other so that's why on these trike kits they usually use the front wheel like this so I don't know that's one of the differences between this and the 24 inch kit I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the reverse now so if you press the button in we get reverse there we go and that goes about four miles per hour so that could just allow you to back this thing up if you had a bag of groceries maybe you're putting it in the garage or something like that it's neat that they have that option and I know it's something they have on a lot of sort of wheelchairs and rascals accessibility um, based electric bikes and things so that's neat and it's something I, I haven't seen on very many electric bikes mostly just those those kind of the scooters and wheelchair type of things um, yeah I think I think that's kind of it I'm gonna ride for just a second more and give you an idea of what the posture is like on this thing so pretty much upright here, relaxed, got the basket down there. Yeah, that's kind of it. <laughs> so that's the 20 inch kit for trikes from ebikekit.com. For more info on this and other electric bikes, I'll see you back at Electric Biker Review.